Hey guys, welcome back to Bike Geeks. And this is kind of my comprehensive review on the Topeak Journey trailer. Now I've actually put over 200, 250 miles on this trailer. So I have uh, a lot of time with it to find out and kind of give my full on review or my opinion on the trailer itself. Um, and to cut a long story short, and I'll go into this in a little more in depth here, it's awesome. It really, really is. Um, especially if you're looking for a cargo trailer, rather than using panniers or maybe something in addition to do a longer journey or a longer trip, this guy pulls straight, pulls well. I had a lot of weight in it. Um, uh, I had several products that I was reviewing at the time when I actually was doing this trip, so I took a lot of extra gear with me when I did it. Um, a lot more than I should have, but I did it anyway because I wanted to. I, I wanted to do the reviews. I wanted to do the videos while I was away on my trips. Um, but it's awesome. So the the so to get started with it, uh, Peak Journey is a bicycle trailer. It actually hooks up to an axle that you actually put on the rear of your bike. So that's how it actually attaches. I'm gonna put a link where uh, I have on my Geek Smart channel when I when I built it. I actually do show you how it actually snaps onto the bike itself. So if you want to check that out, check out the install video over there. Um, so that'll be listed below as well as on a, on, a, on a card here. But first, very first ride I did with it was about a 15 mile ride and was in the rain. It rained the whole time. <laughs> um, and it was on and off, but it, was, it rained quite a bit. I mean, we were soaking wet when we were done. Um, and it ran like a champion. Uh, the dry bag worked perfectly. Nothing got inside. Everything was completely dry afterwards. It just got nice and dirty <laughs> uh, As it does and of course when I dried it, I brushed it off a little bit, but that was it. Um, my next ride was on uh, Crushed limestone trail it wasn't really it was a little damp, but not uh, wasn't raining Everything just got covered in limestone and then my big trip was uh, and that was like a 25 miler the next one was uh the 160 mile big guy 165 mile big guy so it's i have a lot of use on it and i've, I've done a few mountain rides since then um but you can get a lot of weight in this guy um it it pulls very straight and i'm going to show you a video of that while I'm, while I'm talking here as well it pulls really straight it it responds very very well if you're used to pulling a trailer um especially like a two-wheel trailer uh, as soon as you get to, uh, like if you're on a road on a gravel road, if you get too far to the close to the edge, the one trailer, one edge of the or one wheel goes into the gravel or into the side of the road, one stays on the road. This doesn't. This tracks exactly where your bike is going, and it does it very well. Um, I had nothing but fantastic things to say about this. Now they do give you a flag with it as well. I don't use it because that's just extra drag. Um, but for safety reasons, it, of course, it's going to be recommended to use it. I have my little mascot back here, my Sonic that I attach. Now they do have an attachment point. Now I actually bought, this is a, an actual Topeak light that uh, you can purchase that actually slides right on. I will post a link where you can actually buy this, li this light as well in the description. So I'll have lots of links for you. Um, but that little light allows me to put my little Sonic on there and he stays on there pretty well. He was on there all my trips. So, um, it the the if you watch the install video it shows you how everything and how the bag attaches and how the actual bag itself actually works it's just a standard dry bag and there is a zipper enclosure to help you hold it together while you're actually doing it. the zipper is not waterproof it's, it's the rolling technique that is waterproof so there's a ton of space so i'm going to bring you over here real quick so you can actually see how much space is in this thing uh, if you haven't already watched the other one so let's do that real quick so i mean we're talking a ton of space now it's a little dirty in there from my last rides and all the stuff that i've had but um it is a massive bag i mean you get a lot of stuff in this thing so it's it's pretty awesome and it mount it actually velcros itself onto the frame of the actual trailer itself so you can take the dry bag off and not use it um so you don't need to use it and it, the nice thing is this is all aluminum so it's a uh, very light for what it is so that, that aluminum frame is like 10 and a half pounds, like 10.6, 10.7 pounds. It doesn't weigh very much. Um, the nice thing about it being aluminum is it's, it's really light, uh, but you don't have to worry about rusting or anything like that. It's gonna look like this pretty much its life. And obviously if you have a scratch, you can just 
touched up with some some paint real quick um the flag can, can attach to either side which i didn't show you that on the video but um aside from that i mean it's really easy uh just a 16 inch rail on the back now this has a capacity of about 70 pounds i did not actually measure the weight of my trailer when i actually went um maybe i should have but i would bet i was pushing 60 to 70 pounds in the trailer um I could be a little off on that, but I, I would say it's at least 55, if not 60 plus. And uh, she pulled great. I mean, other than if you're going up a hill, obviously the extra weight a little bit. But I didn't notice any additional drag so much with the trailer, which is why if you're looking for a cargo trailer, yes, there are Bob trailers out there. There are other options. This is lighter. Um, and uh, that is a big plus because the light, the trailer itself is a lot lighter. And the mounting mechanism, the quick release mechanism to just take it on and off, uh, worked really, really well. Um, I also did find myself uh, being able to stand my bike up really well just by turning the bike a little bit and leaning it on the trailer itself on like a rock or something. Worked really good with that because I don't have a kickstand on my bikes. So um, I was able to actually keep it upright a lot of the times. If you if you found a spot, if you found a wall, you can just lean your bike against it. Or if I just leaned this, as long as this part right here touched the wall the bike didn't go anywhere so pretty awesome on that account as well so i really do if you're looking for a cargo trailer for your bike this is one i would highly recommend it's very lightweight it pulls very very well it hooks up to the bike very very well now of course that mounting uh, mechanism that it comes with does not work on all bikes uh, like any of the trailers there's never a guarantee um but I did want to make one more point real quick if you notice these little blue hooks. Uh, this actually was for a uh, solar panel that I actually had on top of my pack for the entire trip. Uh, and I had a, it wired in through the end of the pack here to a battery pack that I had inside that was charging it while I was riding. About half the ride, a huh, third of the ride we were under canopy so it didn't really work very well. But out in the open it was charging up that battery pack the entire time. So. Um, pretty awesome and uh, that'll actually be on a future video um, as well so I'll show you that more later and you probably saw it on the, on the video feed but that's what those are for if you're looking at a trailer take a peek at this guy because it works really really well now uh, if you have any other questions or comments post those below I'll try to keep a track on this one specifically if you have any questions on this uh, this guy but it is one of those things that I, I really do feel passionate about. After using this, this isn't what this isn't something I'm I'm probably never gonna get rid of because I really like this trailer. So thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe, please comment, please share the video, please like. Uh, that way this channel becomes bigger. It's a new channel, so I don't have a whole lot of followers yet. But I appreciate if you actually made it to the end of the video here. Thank you very much uh, for watching, and we'll catch you on another future video. But if you have anything else, let me know below in the comments. Otherwise, we'll see you soon.